Hey everybody, I'm back to do a review on a butter that um, I was sent to review. And this butter comes to you uh, called Thai Crables Goodness. That's not really her name. I just made that up. <laughs> I don't know what she gonna name her company. But anywho, yes, Ty Crable is now starting to make butters. And she sent me this to try. It's a two ounce unscented sample. This is what it looks like. This is not the label that she is gonna put on there, but again, it was a test for me to try it. Um, I should have went and I should have gotten a, uh, I don't want to get up because I don't want y'all to see my pajama pants. I'll just tell y'all about it anyway. Anyway, the ingredients in this is virgin, unrefined, organic shea butter, cold pressed black seed oil, USDA certified organic jojoba oil, USDA certified organic argan oil, cold pressed shea nut oil, vitamin E oil, pure cold pressed Kalahari melon oil, rosemary extract, essential oils and there's no fragrance it's unscented this is what it looks like as you can see i've been using this on my body so she just i just got this last mm, tuesday or wednesday i believe i got this it's soft you know it's not hard like you would think a shea butter would be it emulsifies very quickly as you can see it doesn't clump up or anything like that so let me get to telling y'all about this review so it won't be 25 years long the butter is really good i liked it there was um i would say one and a half con to it even though this is unscented I don't know if it's the shea butter or if it's one of these uh, oils like the rosemary or something like that, but my nose is very sensitive, so I did not like this. I need a scent to this, and I already told her that, um, but I do need a scent to this because I don't like the scent that's in it unscented. Um, but for some people who don't like scent or can't, you sense um, this may be fine for you but for me I need a scent I don't like the natural scent that is in this it um, it emulsifies very well as you can see for a shea butter uh, so it's not shea butter heavy um, it soaked into the skin very fast there are some women that don't use butters or oils because they don't like the greasy feeling or some butters and oils tend to sit on top of the skin. And um, I can tell you, Ty Crable's butter was not like that. I was That was the first thing that I noticed, how quickly the butter soaked into my skin because I first used it on my hands. When I got it out the mail, I washed my hands and I put it on my hands. And sometimes I would tell you with certain products, for whatever reason, I got this weird thing going on with the palms of my hands that um, whenever some products, not all, um, I can feel the product on the palms of my hands and it irritates me. So what I would do is I go and rinse off the inside of my hands and then dry it off on my towel to get the product off of the palms of my hands and that's how it felt when I put the butter on but before I can go and rinse my hands off I didn't feel that feeling anymore it has soaked into my skin where some products it just sit on top of the skin and it forces me to go rinse off my hands so I was just like Really? I was like, dang, this stuff soaked in really quick and it soaked into the palms of my hands. I don't know. For the past year, the palms of my hand has been a big issue when it came to products. The scent, you know, just didn't, this don't mesh well with the chemistry or the feeling of it. So 
yeah, that's been a huge issue the past year for me when it came to products. But I will say her stuff soaked in. And then what I did was, um, because I shower every night, I had somewhere to go the next day. So I pulled this out the mailbox. I dropped my daughter off at school, came back home, and I got dressed. Yeah, I took her to school in my pajamas because I don't get out the car. And so I needed to grease up because I put I didn't put anything on the night before when I took my shower. So um, I put on Ty's Butter and it's, again, even on dry skin, it's soaked into my skin very well. Then the next day I tried it again on my body, but I tried it after I took my shower and it performed the same. It soaked into my skin very well and very quickly. Um, yeah, I don't have any complaints. The only other one that I have, and that's just my skin. Um, also, I feel that this is a year-round butter because it does not sit on top of the skin and it soaks in very quickly. You can use this year-round in the summer and in the winter. Some butters you don't dare go near when it's hot outside because you will sweat to death. Really? Yeah, you will sweat to death. This is one I can honestly say because we're still in the high 80s, 90s here. This is one I can honestly say that you can use year around without feeling like you are hot and sweaty and stuff. So that was another big plus for the butter. The only thing um, other, you know, and it is not really a big deal because when we all get up, we tend to um, re-moisturize anyway. But for me, the butter only lasted a couple of hours and that could be a lot of variables. I do have hard water here and that's something I explained before when I review other products, when I say it didn't last long for me, I do have hard, hard water here, which really, really dries out the skin. Um, so it may be that, you know, I just need during certain times heavier butters um so but it is a, a good butter very moisturizing your skin feels so soft when you use it very nice again this is good for people who really don't like butters because of the heaviness of it they more so go towards lotions and creams if you are one of those people you definitely will like Ty Crable's butters because it soaks in. It does not leave a greasy or oily. You even forget that you put the stuff on. That's how quick it soaks in, but it keeps the skin moisturized and soft. So, um, yeah, that was the first thing that I noticed, how quickly it soaked into my skin, but my skin was really still soft and moisturized. Um, as far as it not lasting it like i said it could be a couple of variables my water is hard but also you know you're putting on your clothes you're getting in the bed you got your pajamas on so you kind of like wiping it off you know it's not going to last long anyway but um give i would say support her you know help the sister out and give her a try try her stuff out just like you try out everything else that we come on here and talk about go and message Ty Crable and say, I want some of y'all butters, girl. I want to buy some. So, yeah. And so, with that being said, at the end of this video, also, too, I wanted to tell y'all, if y'all look back at my videos around this time last year, I had did a um, series on scalp treatments, oils that I was buying for my scalp because y'all know, and it's starting to act up now. The only thing I'm not getting is irritation, but the, my scalp and my hair tends to act the fool during this time. And so what I was doing and I stopped, I was buying certain oils like, um, carrot seed oil, calendula oil, sea buckthorn oil. All of those oils are good for, uh, scalp issues and hair issues and a lot of these oils that Ty Crable have in her butter like black seed oil um, vitamin E is always good uh, Kalahari melon oil jojoba oil is always good it soaks into the hair very well 
A lot of these oils are also good for people that have scalp and hair issues like shedding, breaking, scalp irritation, um, flakes, dandruff, uh, all of that stuff. So if you want to, you can get this and use it. This is good for body and hair. You could get this either melted down or emulsify in your in your hands with those oils that I mentioned, carrot seed oil, um, calendula oil, sea buckthorn oil, carrot seed, if I ain't already say it again, and mix those all up and do a scalp treatment because I know there are ladies who've been suffering with scalp issues and you can kind of use this because she already got a lot of some very good oils and these oils are, are expensive as well that's why i didn't finish collecting my oils because some of them like the kerosene oil i think that stuff for one ounce was like 15 20 dollars maybe more for one ounce yeah it's very expensive a lot of these oils and she got a lot of expensive oils in here so that would be Another plus, you can use this just to seal your hair with, but if you have scalp issues as well, get you some of this and add on some oils to it and melt it down or emulsify it and massage it into your scalp and do a scalp treatment before you wash or if you one that oils your scalp after you wash, um, you can do that as well. I would say because of the shea butter, you, uh, it may be a little bit too heavy unless you use a very little, but definitely as a pre poo scalp treatment, this, you know, emulsified or melted down with some other great oils that you can add to it and kind of make your own mix. It'll help you out. I have stopped doing it. Why? You know how we do as things get better. We just stop doing stuff. So but anywho, this is going on 12 minutes. And with that being said, this would be the perfect time. Um, because of Ty Crable, I started doing YouTube videos. She just bugged me to death until I started doing YouTube videos. I used to do Instagram reviews. And um, she kept saying, just go do your YouTube video. Just go do your YouTube video. So finally, I joined YouTube. And I am, say, I am proud to say that because of y'all... And y'all support, I have reached 1,000 subscribers. So I thank y'all so much to everybody that's been supporting me and liking my videos because I thought Ty Crable was going to be my only subscriber. <laughs> I never thought in a million years that I would get to 1,000 subscribers. So thank you, everybody, for your support. <laughs> Um, I really do appreciate it. And on that note, I'm going to do a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm going to put some things together. Um, I may come back, you know, later once I announce the winner of what I'm giving away so you'll know what you're getting. But if you watch this video all the way to the end, don't mention anything about the giveaway. This is for my subscribers only, so it's a hidden giveaway. And this is just to show appreciation to people who've been um, supporting me, not for people just looking for a giveaway. And so just say um, congratulations in the comment box. Don't mention anything about the giveaway. If you do mention anything about the giveaway, I'm going to have to delete it and you will be disqualified. Also, this is for U.S. residents only and you need to be 18 plus years old to enter. And so say congratulations only in the comment box to enter this giveaway. And at some point, I'll close it. When you see closed on the title of the giveaway, um, you know it's over. <laughs> I'm not going to even put a date on it because I don't know when I get back to it. But it'll be within the week. You know, I'll get back to it probably by the weekend. So thank you again, everybody, for supporting me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please leave your comments in the box below. And don't forget to share the video on Google+. Peace.